I know that the resignation of your pastor, Father Kevin Fassett, was a shock and a disappointment for all the members of the parish. Father Fassett was an outstanding pastor who served you well, and I know that you miss him. But today we pray for him in a very special way, and for St. Leo's Parish, and for all those who have been touched and affected by this very sad event. I also want to thank you and commend you for the way in which you responded to this situation in the last couple of weeks. I truly appreciate your patience and your understanding, as well as the, the letters and support and the prayers you've sent my way. This past Thursday, I visited the parish and met with Father Catherine Verdi and other leaders of your parish community. I also today want to commend them for their understanding and support and the very, very good work they're doing during these troubling days. Indeed, you have some very good leaders in this parish community. And I know that you have some concern about the future of St. Leo's Parish, especially in light of the ongoing discussions taking place with St. Cecilia Parish. And your concern is very understandable. Well, I hope and I expect that those discussions will continue in the future. I want to emphasize as clearly as possible today that at the present time there are no imminent plans to close either St. Leo's Parish or St. Cecilia's Parish or to merge the two parishes. I do hope that you'll continue to work well together with your neighboring parish and to share programs and resources as much as possible. Someday in the future, there may be some change in the structure of your parishes, and we cannot ignore that possibility. But for now, I hope and pray that you'll continue to support St. Leo's Parish and to carry on the very good work you are doing for Jesus and for his church. I also want to offer a word of very sincere appreciation for your new spiritual leader, Father Giacomo Capoverdi and to thank him for accepting my request to come here to St. Leo's. From the very beginning, I believe it was important and helpful for you to have a priest in your midst to continue to serve your spiritual and pastoral needs. Father Capoverdi was very willing to do so, even on very short notice, and even though it meant a major change for his life and his ministry. Father Capoverdi is a fine priest, but he has lots of work to do, and many challenges that he will face, and I hope that you will do your very best to offer him all the support and the cooperation that you can. As you know, dear brothers and sisters, that as we travel through life, it's inevitable that sometimes we will experience moments of disappointment and sorrow and pain. That's true for us as individual people, and as families, and as a parish family. The question always is, how do we respond to these challenges when they do come our way? Do we respond as Christians, as people who are filled with faith and hope? Or do we respond as the secular world would, without the consolation and guidance of our faith? It seems to me that moments of suffering and pain will always do one of two things. Either they will separate us from God, or they will draw us closer to Him. But the choice is always up to us. In the first reading today from the prophet Isaiah, the Lord says to His fearful and frightened people, Be strong, fear not, here is your God. And in the Gospel, Jesus, the Son of God, fulfills that promise as He reaches out to touch the man who was unable to speak. And unable to hear 
our Catholic faith is our devotion to our Blessed Mother Mary. How many generations of Catholics have been comforted by her love and care. As Mary stood at the foot of the cross near Christ, she represented 